right, so X Defiant Season 1. A new build of the game means new things are being added on the back end, right? Well, seems that way because today we're going to be running down what we learned of from data miners as of this update and a bit of what to expect in the future beyond Season 1 for X Defiant. So drop your thoughts as we go along, drop a like if you enjoyed the video, and make sure to subscribe for more X Defiant coverage along with other FPS content. I'd love to have in the communities we chase down 600,000 subscribers, especially if you're part of that 75% of viewers not subscribed. So if you want to join the community, I'd love to have you. Finally, my friends over at Gamer Advantage are running a 24% off site-wide discount where code Espresso can stack to get you 34% off your entire order, but more on that a little later. For now, let's talk about leaks and some new content a little later on down the line, but in the near future, no less. So first and foremost, the leaks today are sourced from at TX Limited and Uanani, both prominent leakers in the space. And as with all leak centric videos, I can't post any of the game file screenshots or anything directly into the video. That's all subject to copyright and DMCA takedown because until they're released, it's all intellectual property of Ubisoft and the teams behind X Defiant. But if you'd like further reference, everything can be linked down below in regards to both of their Twitter accounts. A lot of that stuff is still up. So if you guys want to check it out, should be there. But anyways, let's talk about some of this new content we can expect for the near future. Starting with season two, as weird as it is to talk about seasons beyond season one, because we're now just not even a week into season one, we do know a lot about the future and the rest of year one upcoming for X Defiant. Season two looks to apparently have a theme of Far Cry New Dawn with a highwayman faction and a ballistic turret as an ability. Now, that's been teased a little bit through some of the different stuff we saw in the shop, in preseason with the highwaymen but it seems like that will be the upcoming faction beyond gsk in season one and them in season two we also learned a little bit about the weaponry apparently coming to season two we're going to have a pp19 the spaz and an lmg so a little bit of everything there an smg shotgun and an lmg whereas we ended up having a rifle secondary and sniper rifle with season one so kind of already starting to fill across the board giving one weapon per category it seems like here we're or as we'll touch on a little bit later on in the video, we talk about some future considerations for even further beyond season two, but it is something that we'll see a little bit more of that filled out a little further down the line as well. So kind of trying to give an even balance for anybody that likes certain specific types of weapons, you're going to have just about everyone covered in the upcoming seasons. Next, it was detailed a little further that while it's not necessarily progressed on the back end in regards to the systems at hand, there were prestige rewards found within the game files after the season one update again no actual prestige system progress has been put in place just yet but again those sort of foundational things might be a little bit more so reserved whereas skins and stuff like that are easier to find and aren't so much a game altering thing if added into the game where if they added the framework to the prestige system in this update it could inadvertently mess up some of the other foundational stuff elsewhere in the game. I mean, we saw that recently with Call of Duty, where some of the quality of life stuff with Rebirth Island, they added specialists and it broke all the perk packages. They ended up adding in the foundations for the precision airstrike outline, and that broke the notification system overall before it was actually introduced. So that kind of stuff does have inadvertent effects, where that might be why we don't see any sort of new progress just yet, but the rewards associated with them are there, and they appear to be skins associated with the prestiges. Personally, I'd like to see a bit more than just one weapon skin or at least a universal weapon skin available for all guns as opposed to, say, ranked play rewards per sort of milestone leveling. Like, if you get a new prestige, I think you should get a universal skin that's available for every single weapon. What we have right now in regards to, like, ranked play, each individual ranked milestone, those are only available for certain operators and also then certain weapons. So it's not like you can use that paintball skin that's associated with those couple of weapons on any weapon at all. So if you don't use the one that it's associated with, you kind of lose out. You grind out ranked for maybe nothing. But either way, no matter what way you look at it, progress in regards to what's upcoming for the prestige system. My guess for when this will be introduced is maybe earliest mid-season sometime or probably like a season two launch. It seems like it's not quite there yet. They're still baking it. And of course, after that, they're going to have to test it and make sure it doesn't break the game entirely. Like we've seen with a couple of different things in X Defiant already with season one. And also as we've seen with another major FPS title out there that breaks every single update. So we'll see. But anyways, beyond that, we learned of a new mastery camo of platinum or had this reiterated per se because as we've talked about before season one with the sort of basic building blocks of the game there were leaks for a while that indicated that platinum would be coming as well so that is something that doesn't have any details in regards to when or how it will be unlocked but platinum does appear to be available in the game at some point in the 
sort of near future. There's reference photos of this on the LVOA as well as the M16 that have been found. So looks like that'll be coming as well. Personally, just hoping it's not necessarily another rank associated mastery camo. That'd be cool if you only had one camo coming in regards to like platinum. Maybe you can make it a headshot challenge. I think that'd be cool. But anyways, custom games apparently has had some progression on the back end though. No ETA, but personally, I'm really looking forward to this one. I know that might not be something that applies or is important to everybody, but as we've talked about, I have those sort of like first world creator problems where having like an inspect feature is awesome. I love that. Whereas it's probably inconsequential to just about anyone else that plays the game same thing with private matches i can go into a private match and then go into whatever map get the perfect lighting i want for a screenshot bingo thumbnail right there so my interest in custom games is probably a lot different than your interest in custom games but it seems like that's also been progressed as well but that was also acknowledged in the x debrief for season one that it would be coming and that they are going to be working on this so that shouldn't really come as too much a surprise, but it's nice to see, again, progress on the back end. As for some smaller things, they leaked all the GSK outfits and skins, but nothing in, say, like additional weapon skins coming throughout Season 1. That stuff is just still, again, smaller items. Now, coming back to those future considerations as we talked about, we did learn a little bit further about some of the additional factions and themes coming in the future beyond season one and season two season two of course is the highwaymen season three apparently is going to be assassin's creed themed which is pretty cool i'm definitely looking forward to seeing how that will play out that apparently also has some weapons known for season three where there's going to be a dmr the m1a and the famas apparently coming within season three season four is apparently going to be ghost recon very excited for that one love the ghost recon series and then season five is hilariously depending on who you ask apparently going to to be rabbits themed now that would kick off year two it seems like since seasons one through four are guaranteed to be year one unless they change the timing of how these will roll out to be shorter than 90 days but that'll be interesting to see how that all breaks down but that is the future considerations for even further into the future but that is some x defiant leaks here that we learned about thanks to at tx limited and you anani so again check those links down there in the description below if you guys would like to learn a little more but that is where we're gonna wrap it up before we do, though, make sure you got my friends over at Gamer Advantage, where for a short window of time, there's a 24% off site-wide discount for the 4th of July in celebration of the holiday here in the States. But code Espresso can stack to give you 34% off your entire order, which is one of the best discounts of the year so far. But if you guys want to check out what I firmly believe are the best blue light glasses on the market, now is as best the time as any. I've worked with these guys for three years now, cannot recommend them enough. They're the most lightweight, comfortable, and durable frames on the market as far as I've used, and I definitely think that they've helped my daily productivity. A full transparency, they are a bit more of an investment but i do think your vision is absolutely worth investing into especially if you're like me you're looking at a monitor phone you're gaming for a good chunk of the day if you guys would like to learn more at the very least i'd recommend checking out their website where they can better break down the science and all the specifics way better than i could but what i can personally say is that i highly recommend them so if you guys would like to learn more check the link in the description below and if you want to pick something up for yourself use code espresso to get 34 percent off your entire order but for now that's what we're gonna call it let me know your thoughts down below any of these leaks sound good to you not so much whatever the case let me know but if you enjoyed the video you found it at all insightful do me a favor and drop a like on it and if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a single thing regarding all things x defiant and even more fps coverage i'd love to have in the community but for now thanks so much for watching my name is espresso i'll see you later take care and peace